1913, there were two police forces in Ireland. The Royal Irish Constabulary, which was an armed paramilitary force, uh, policed the country outside of Dublin. In Dublin, you had the Dublin Metropolitan Police, which was a pretty conventional Victorian-style police force, such as you'd have in Manchester or London. They were unarmed. They were about uh, 1,200 strong. Um, what isn't commonly uh, understood is that in the disturbances of 1913, during the lockout, both DMP men, the Dublin men, were on the streets. Uh, and also they were reinforced by RIC men who had been drafted in from the country. It was an interesting relationship. Um, the RIC had a split level entry. So you had uh, officers who were for the most part drawn from wealthy Protestant ascendancy families. The rank and file were Roman Catholic, so it was almost like a military. It was like the difference between officers and men. The Dublin Metropolitan Police, on the other hand, was a single level entry. A man entering the DMP could rise to the highest ranks, um, except for the commissioner who was always appointed by Dublin Castle. So they were quite different in their culture, if you like. They, they were quite, um, they were, they, they had a, a different, there were different philosophies of policing. The DMP was much closer to the British constabulary model and the RIC much closer to the continental gendarmerie. Uh, but they were all Irish men. Uh, there were no women at that stage in the police. Um, broadly from the same background, apart from the officer corps, they would have been mainly uh, the sons of small farmers, shopkeepers, clerks. Um, uh, if you like, uh, socially and economically, perhaps a step ahead of many of the uh, the workers and the unemployed families that they would be facing with on the streets, but by no means wealthy or well off either. Um, there was a good standard of education required uh, and uh, countrymen tended to have a better education than, than, than city men at that stage. Very few Dublin men actually served in the Dublin Metropolitan Police. They were nearly all countrymen and they had gone through the basic uh, national educational system and there were height requirements obviously as there were in those days and there were character requirements so there were basically strong country lads with a good smattering of education uh, they're able to uh, read write do arithmetic um, and they the jobs were highly prized in a country where there were very few economic outlets uh, getting a job at the police whether it was the DMP or the RIC was certainly regarded as an achievement for a young man uh, from a farming background or a, perhaps a, a small business background in the country.